Hey kids, at home, you guys are gonna review your social studies. You're gonna be doing your primary and secondary sources review. And so your objective is that students will identify a source as either primary or secondary. So we're gonna watch our video and that we watched in Social Studies Weekly together. And you can always go back into Social Studies Weekly and rewatch it as well. It's inside that website through Clever. So you can rewatch that as well as some of the other videos. But this is just a great review for you guys. All right, you guys ready to watch? <laughs> Today, we're going to learn about primary and secondary sources. A primary source means the person who is telling the story was actually there. A secondary source is someone who takes the information from a primary source and then tells the event in their own words. An interview with Ruby Bridges talking about her first day at school would be a great primary source about what happened that day. Other primary sources are things like photographs. They can tell a story too. What can you learn from this photograph? What is he holding in his hands? It's a camera, but not like the ones we have today. Other primary sources can be journals or diaries, documents and maps. A magazine, the internet, and Studies Weekly are great secondary sources. There are lots of ways for us to learn about the past and the world around us by using primary and secondary sources. See you next time, and keep learning. I got it! Go! Just a review, a primary source it's something that is from the person telling the story was actually there or it's an actual picture or an event from history. So like this is an actual picture of Abraham Lincoln. This is an actual picture of Civil War soldiers. This is an actual picture from Civil War time from 1850. And the, these can also be considered a primary source. These are artifacts. And so we have glasses and things like that. And then if there's the newspaper from the Civil War, it's actually considered a primary source. So money from that time, things from that time period are primary sources. And then looking at secondary sources, they come from someone that's retelling the story later who was not present at the time. So like in today's time, if we have a newspaper, consider that more of a secondary source. If this is a newspaper that people have gone in, reporters have interviewed other people and have put the stories together for you to learn about. But they are interviews. They're not written by the person that was actually there. Our nonfiction books that we read, those are written as a secondary source. They have done research and put that information in. Biographies that you read, so if somebody's written a story about someone else, that's a secondary source. And so you just kind of have to look at it and think, was that person there that wrote this or did this? Or is it a recreation of something? And so that what makes it a secondary source. So again, primary is actual things from people that were there, an interview of someone who was actually there. And then secondary is people that have done research and put it together and makes that a secondary source. They're retelling something. So your homework this week, I want you to go and redo your social studies weekly. I want you to reread it because good readers reread. So reread the magazine. Watch the videos. There's more videos in there than just the one we watched just now. So go back and watch those videos. Then you have a cut and paste sort activity in your packet that you got to take home this week. And then there's a link to a Jeopardy game that you can play alone or with a partner. And so it's a good time to review those and kind of quiz yourselves in a fun way to learn if it's a primary or secondary source. So have fun with social studies this week.